TLY brings you Tiger Talk with Clay Center Tiger Football. We're joined by the Tiger Seniors on this year's team. We have Ryan Benfer, Simon Lee, J.W. Jackson, Lucas Sullivan, Lane Musselman, and Zane Bloom. Guys, I'm going to let you go first and introduce your uh, parents so our listeners and viewers kind of know who you are. A lot of times they get these questions asked. So, Ryan? Hi, my name is Ryan Benfer. My parents are Darren Benfer and Gabe Benfer. Uh, I'm Simon Lee. My parents are Brandon and Sally Lee. I'm J.W. Jackson. My parents are Jamie and Chris Jackson. Um, I'm Lucas Sullivan. My mom is Lisa Sullivan. I am Lane Musselman. My parents are Mike and Melanie Musselman. And I'm Zane Bloom, and my parents are Jamie and Caleb Bloom. Okay, Zane, we'll just keep it down there with you since you get the mic in your hands. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to give me something about your four years as a Clay Center Tiger, this year or not, that will always stand out. It can be on the field, off the field. Ask this every year. It's just fun to get some, some fun memories from you guys or exciting memories from you guys. Zane? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> Hold that mic up. This, there you go. Perfect. Go ahead. Anything? I have no idea. A touchdown catch maybe against Chapman? Would that be a memory? Yeah, that'd be one. All right, we'll go with that. Lane, you got anything that stands out? The tradition of the hill that stands out. Practices always up the hill. Right behind us here. Lucas. Um, everything that stands out to me every year is uh, bike night. Bike night, always fun. Yeah, probably my favorite memory too is bike night. Uh, my favorite memory is the summertime weights that we do. It was a uh, fun time with the guys. Um, I have a lot of great memories, especially from freshman and sophomore years with uh, Coach Casper and the guys in the transit van. Very good. I've heard stories of this before, in fact, coming back from, to and from ball games for that matter. So the season could be described like this. I heard him talking a minute ago. This is crazy. It really is. You guys have played so hard and so well to come up with games that have been so close. Ryan, how do you guys come back every week? Because you do. I mean, it's impressive to me that you guys have come back and fought your tails off when th they've gotten stacked against you a bit. You've had some bad breaks. Ryan, Rhino, Benfer, how does how does things how do you guys come back and just bring it every week? Well, I mean, really, there isn't any other option to it. I mean, you're either going to bring it every week or you're going to give up, and um, that's something that's been drilled into us. Is you just got to come out every week and fight. Every week's a new week. Every week's a new opponent. You can't dwell on how last week went. It's all about the new week. Simon Wildfire Lee, Simon, uh, give us an idea of what what things in practice you go over leading up to the game against Council Grove, or that certain things you're looking at that concern you guys and the coaches? Well, I haven't been in practice these last two days. I've been out sick, but I've heard that they have a good quarterback and one good receiver, so a lot of uh, good plays from the DBs tomorrow night or Friday night will be good. Yeah, they do fling it around at Council Grove, the Braves, JW, J-Dub. You get a chance to get to the quarterback after sitting out last week. That had to be so frustrating to be at home. You guys are out taking on Chapman. You ready to go this week? Yeah, it should be a fun game. Ready to go. Get another win. Yeah. Allow some room up front on that right guard position. And I know the middle linebacker will have you back in there uh, making things happen. Lucas Sully Sullivan. Uh, talk about, you talked about Harley Knight. Uh, give the, I know we mentioned this before, but give the, the, the viewers an idea of what that's like to walk. I know you had a chance to carry the flag this year. What is that feeling like? It's cool being up in the booth. I can't imagine as a player walking out. Um, it's just one of the most motivating things I feel before a football game, and it really gets you focused, and it's just all over. Turn it over to the missile, Lane Musselman. Uh, Lane, give us an idea when you get in the open field what it's like to know the end zone's there. We've seen it happen a few times for you, and it's fun to watch. I mean, I just run full speed ahead because you never know when there's a guy right behind you on your heels. So even if it looks like it's right there, you just got to go full speed until you get into there. Zane, as I was getting the video prepared, we were having some problems getting audio going, and all I could hear you guys talking about was food. So tell our viewers what your favorite food is and or favorite restaurant. Uh, it would definitely have to be uh, Raisin Cane's Chicken. Raisin Cane's Chicken. All right, Lane. Do you have a favorite uh, pregame oh. meal? Do you have a favorite food? My favorite food would have to be spaghetti. Is that part of the uh, Thursday night meals ever? Yeah, sometimes. I think not this year we haven't had spaghetti, but 
Two years ago when we had meals, we definitely had spaghetti at least once. All right, Lucas? Um, I'm going to have to go best overall food ever, probably mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, okay. J-Dub, tell me. Uh, my favorite probably is raising canes also. Okay. My favorite pre-game meal would probably be all the various pastas that the senior moms make. And thank you to all the senior moms this year for having us out. For sure. Brian? Um, for a pre-game meal, I would have to go with anything from Texas Roadhouse. That is a great eatery. And I'm guessing Raising Cane's in some of these locations, we get road trips through the week. I just, I'm just i just guessing that's maybe part of uh, what happens for the Tiger Seniors. You guys have been so much fun to watch. Let's go get it one more time at home, maybe more, two times at home, if we get the win against Council Grove this Friday night, which I am counting on. Senior night at the Den. Come out and respect these guys. They've put together a great season as they go into senior night against Council Grove Friday at home.